So welcome to this video series guys. I'm going to answer the biggest mysterious question of the difference between chemist versus a chemical engineer. And yeah, I've been asked literally more than 100 times what's the difference between a chemist and a chemical engineer and probably many people that doesn't even care about it, they think it's the same and no, it's not the same. So the first pictures I want to show you guys is this guy right here with lab set, beautiful stuff, materials, glassware, protection, lab coat, all that stuff is very typical for a chemist. And now we see the engineer which has this little helmet, so protection, but different protection. He has an awesome jacket right here and he's in this, like say, factory or maybe chemical plant, lots of equipment. You can see a lot of metal or steel versus the glassware right here. And you can see, of course, it's huge place, huge equipment, maybe a lot of sounds or uh, maybe also a lot of operations happening at the same time. So that's the first introduction I want to give you guys. The main differences between the chemist and I don't want to show you only what they study. Say the curriculum is what they study what's the difference between a chemist and a chemical engineer, where do they work, it's about the opportunities, and finally some tips, so that's in general what I wanted to show you guys, so let's continue right here with the index, I'm going to start with a little bit, a little bit on the general science, so you can start getting the idea of what's the main difference between a chemical engineer and a chemist, also, this is brought to you because of the history of both chemistry and engineering. Engineering typically is because we want to make very useful stuff, especially profit. Chemistry is the study of a science. Now we have very, let's say, classic chemistries, uh, chemists, and I will say modern engineers because this is about a hundred years old profession and chemists, I will say, at least at least 500 years old. Now we talk about chemicals versus chemistry and quantities, especially scales. You will see that, well, as you can see here, this is very typical of a chemist, very small amounts. We talk about milliliters or maybe even liters. We talk about grams and so on. And you typically talk about cubic meters, gallons per day, Maybe this is per second. We talk about tons per year, etc. Also, we speak up a lot on economic and technical viability or feasibility. Essentially, if we are chemical engineers, we want this to be very economical possible and the least technical complex. And science will be contrary. We will spend a lot of money for or in order to get very complex models and mechanisms and experiments. Then we go and check out the different subjects and courses. We start talking about the different equipments you will see in the lab of a chemist and in the lab of an engineer. So we talk about reactors, pumps, compressors, heat exchangers, boilers, distillations, extractions, pipings, uh, storages, materials, and so on. Then we come and see a little bit on processes. What typically we will see on the chemical or chemistry lab and the engineering lab. And we talk about plant versus lab equipment sets. Then that was, let's say about study. Then we go for the workplace. Where do the chemist works? What do they use? What type of equipment? And of course the different safety, uh, let's say topics. And then we go for the chemical engineer where we work, typically factories and chemical plants. We use steel. Raw materials are typically more commonly found in huge amount of sizes. And once you're done with that, you get the idea of what do we study each of them and where do we work now, start talking about career paths. Once you study your bachelor or maybe science or bachelor in engineering or whatever the name you may have, where or what can we do? Can we go for professional life? We can go working, research, 
teaching and so on, or maybe keep studying for a master's degree, PhD, or maybe as a research, and so on. Then I will think this is a very interest of you guys, especially all those which are or think that salary is very important for your career, you think that maybe you don't want to study that much. And I know many people that prefer studying chemical engineering because of the money. They prefer not only because they think it's easier, which is not, it's different approaches to the science, but eventually engineering and science are hard. You will need to make a lot of numbers and so on. Then after speaking about money, we take some final notes and I will give you some tips so hopefully you like this video series I think it's useful for anyone that studies anything chemistry related and especially for those chemical engineers that have no idea what they study or what they're going to study or what's the difference or maybe those students in high school that might think this is a maybe you are thinking in a career on chemistry and because you think this glassware is cool and you never think about chemical engineering, you never ask what do a chemical engineer does. Well, I think this is a very helpful playlist. So I think it's all I wanted to show you guys. See you in the next video.